Good afternoon, it's Erika van Heever. I would like to talk to you about the technology transfer that we are doing at the ARC, specifically on uh, vegetables, indigenous vegetables and medicinal plants. Um, we are basically focusing on these crops that we that you have listened to the previous speakers and on which they are doing research. We package that information for the farmers and then that is what we present in our courses. Because why are we doing the research? We need to get that information that we find in the research um, to th back to the farmers. So obviously when a farmer applies for a course there is a specific need. And we do it for specific and applicable for specific areas. The training or the technology that we will transfer need to be understandable. Therefore, we can do this in different languages and different levels of the audience because it's important to us to make an impact. Different levels, I mean, we can do it at an advanced level, at a beginner's level, and also for our illiterate old farmers. We're doing it also step by step with demonstrations and or illustrations. Technology transfer can happen in many ways. We, for example, doing it through publications, congresses, conferences, workshops. There, we also do it on far, with on-farm trials, so we can select a farmer in a specific area where we will then do some trials and we demonstrate to them either a new crop, a new technology or a new, um, a new crop. The information days, we can also link to the farmer's trials whereby we can organize groups of farmers or extension practitioners that they can come and experience and see what we do and we share it on the pamphlets. We have also production manuals like for the hydroponics, potato production, sweet potato production, garlic production and vegetable pests. Then comes to the courses on which I will also elaborate now, is for the accredited and non-accredited courses. We then offer a range of courses. As I said, this different courses, we can also then let it be for the different levels, advanced, beginner or illiterate. So we're doing it on nursery, seedling management, open field vegetable production, um, vegetable pest and disease management, hydroponics production. Um, then we also can do it, we can also break it down, say it's only soil fertilization and irrigation or harvesting or agro-processing or plant specific like the sweet potatoes or tomatoes. And then we can also continue with um, separate aspects like irrigation, design and planning. Then the agri business, financial and business planning, aquaculture, aquaponic production, medicinal plants and leafy vegetable production. Then there is also more on the business side like cooperative development and marketing principles, sustainable resource management, production and financial record keeping, entrepreneurial skills, agricultural enterprise selection, planning and finances. The accredited courses is basically credit be uh, bearing courses on specific unit standards that is then registered with the AgriCita. We as the ARC are then registered by the AgriCita to present these courses. We can do it um, in two ways, either in the skills program or in the qualification that can bring 120 credits. The skills program is like short courses and the farmer or the attendee can then select which unit standards they want to attend 
Obviously, we don't present every week different unit standards. If there's a need, we then develop a course, and then it can, um, it can then be compiled by one or two or three unit standards. It depends on the time and the budget that the um, beneficiary then has. The different um, skills courses can also then present it in bits and pieces, I can say, and then um, uh, if they, if a farmer have then uh, gained 120 credits, it can lead to a qualification that will then just go through a, a process and then it can be, it can then receive a, um, a qualification with a certificate. Unfortunately, accredited courses takes time and there's a lot of assessments, moderation that must be then submitted to the Agricita and then accredited certificate will then be undersigned by Agricita. The non-accredited courses is the normal courses that we used to uh, present for many years now. We can tailor make that to fit to a group's needs. Normally, um, a vegetable course will consist of different aspects that will be presented. Um, it will have group work and discussions that we can also share um, experiences from different people to each other. There is no assessment, but we normally use a workbook to ensure that the attendees understand the concepts and grasp the message that they are attending to. Different aspects can be included and it depends on the budget and the time available for the specific attendees. These courses can be presented at the ARC or then in their own workplace of a group of people or in a community or in a specific province. Um, hydroponics, for example, we, we will focus a lot on the structures and the different systems that is um, available and that can be applied to. As I said, our training or technology transfer can happen in different ways. Um, we can either do it through a workshop um, setup or in a smaller group or then just training in a classroom and in the field. Hereby it shows you the, the different aspects that we will then address to, for example, soil preparation, spacing, transplanting of seedlings, and then irrigation. It don't need to be a smart irrigation system, it can also be a manual system all the way like you can see on the picture. Our emphasis is basically on skills development for farmers, for people to come and learn and understand vegetable production better. It's also important and helps a lot if the ARC can visit the farmers and see where they're coming from because that can give you an idea what technologies and what infrastructure and what resources is available. Thank you very much.